Hi there. Now here's a really interesting macro multiple choice question, which is one of the tougher ones around in the new syllabus. So let's have a look at it. It's about shifts in aggregate demand and also a shift in long run aggregate supply. So here's the question. The diagram below shows an economist's aggregate demand, AD, and long run aggregate supply curves. OY is the initial equilibrium level of real GDP. So then we're asked to find which one of the following combination of events is likely to lead to a new equilibrium level of output OY2. Now, before we go through the events, look at the diagram carefully. We can see that the aggregate demand has shifted to the left. It's been a fall in aggregate demand from AD1 to AD2. And long run supply has also shifted to the left. So there's been a factor there causing a decrease, a decrease in the economy's productive potential. So we're looking for a fall in long-run aggregate supply and a fall in aggregate demand. So let's go through the questions systematically, as we always do. What about A? A, a fall in the quantity and productivity of labour in the economy. Yes, that's likely to shift aggregate supply to the left. And an increase in imports relative to exports. Yes, that's likely to shift aggregate demand to the left, because of course AD is C plus I plus G plus X minus M. So if M is greater than X, aggregate demand will fall. So yes, A is the right answer because aggregate supply and aggregate demand have both fallen. But let's check, uh, check the rest of the answers just to make sure. Increased government spending on education and training is likely to increase aggregate supply. An increase in the cost of consumer credit, higher interest rates for example, is likely to reduce aggregate demand. So there we have a rise in AS and a fall in AD. Not quite right. C, a decline in factor mobility, geographical, geographical occupation mobility, that's going to cause a fall in aggregate supply. A fall in the exchange rate is likely to lead to an increase in demand via an increase in exports. So the aggregate supply is falling, but aggregate demand is rising. Again, not quite right. And D, greater use of technology across the economy, again, likely to increase aggregate supply. A rise in indirect taxes is likely to cause a fall in aggregate demand because of a fall in real income. So again, rise of aggregate supply, fall in AD, incorrect. A is the right answer, because both aggregate supply and aggregate demand will fall in those two events. Great chance, great chance to just quickly revise long run aggregate supply, the economy's productive potential. And key is, key to understanding this is that changes in long run supply are brought about by Changes in the labour supply, people joining the labour force, net income migration, for example, a change in the stock of capital, for example, by due to higher investment, an improvement in the efficiency of factor productivity, improvement in the quality of factor inputs, changes and advances in the state of technology, and improvements in institutions. If you can increase your productive potential, the long run aggregate supply will shift out, giving the opportunity for real trend economic growth. So a tricky question, but if you know your AD and AS curves, then you're in good shape. Thank you.